XXL Chicken. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Wing Ting's Kitchen. Today we're going to make one of my favourite street foods, which is the Taiwanese XXL Chicken. Since I can't go to Taiwan right now or even to Chinatown, I decided to make this XXL Chicken at home. So I did some research and I came up with this recipe. The spices used are very straightforward. The only tricky part is butterflying the chicken breasts. If you've not done it before, don't worry about it, you'll get it. The most important thing is it'll still taste good. This is really delicious and definitely worth the effort. So let's get started. You will need two large chicken breasts, one tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of water, half a teaspoon of five spice, half a teaspoon of white pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, half a cup of corn flour, half a cup of plain flour, one egg, and a teaspoon of baking powder. First, it is the most difficult part, which is butterflying the chicken. We will open up the chicken in thirds, so roughly start slicing the chicken a third from the top. Once you can open up the chicken breasts, use small strokes of the knife to open up the chicken even more and until it becomes flat. We use small strokes to reduce the risk of creating any holes. Do this on the other side and open up the chicken breast. It's best to use a large chicken breast so it resembles a Taiwanese XXL chicken. I flipped my chicken over and felt that it was still a bit thick. So using the same technique, I opened up the chicken to make it even more XXL. If you do get some holes in your chicken breast, don't worry about it. It's not an easy process and as long as it's delicious, that's fine. Put your chicken on a larger chopping board if you're using a small one like me. Then place grease proof paper or cling film on top of your chicken and using a meat mallet, pound the chicken. This will make the chicken more tender and flattening it and making it more XXL. Flip it over and do the same on the other side. It also makes the thickness of the chicken more even. Once this is done for all of them, it's time to marinate the chicken. Add in your five spice, white pepper, garlic powder, ginger powder, salt, sugar and soy sauce and mix with your hands. Massage the spices into the chicken for a few minutes. and then add the water. Keep massaging the chicken. The chicken fibers will absorb the water and once you don't see any more water, put a lid on and leave it in the fridge to marinate for at least 30 minutes. And we'll make a start on the batter. Mix your corn flour, plain flour and baking powder into a sieve and then sieve it onto the biggest plate you have. Mine happens to be a spaghetti plate. Crack an egg into a flat bowl and give it a good beat. Take your chicken out of the fridge. Place the chicken into the egg and make sure all the egg covers the chicken. Then put it into the flour. Keep covering the chicken with as much flour as it can take and make sure every bit is covered. And then it's time to fry your chicken. I'm using crisp and dry which is a rapeseed oil. Fill your wok with about 40% of oil and then heat it to about 170 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer put in a bit of the batter and if it floats you're ready to go. Carefully place your chicken into the oil and it will need to fry for about 5 minutes. 
The chicken should firm up after one minute. Keep your eye on the chicken, making sure it doesn't burn and flip it occasionally to get even golden brown colour on both sides. Move it around to make sure it's not touching the bottom. After five minutes, take out the chicken and let it rest on either a cooking rack or a net so the excess oil can drip off. If you leave the chicken on a plate or a kitchen towel, it's more likely to get soggy. Before frying the next piece of chicken, use a fine net to clear the oil of remaining debris. Carefully put in your next piece of chicken and fry again like before. Now it's time to make the seasoning. I'm using half a teaspoon of white pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika and half a teaspoon of medium curry powder. However, you can spice this up as much as you want using hot chili powder, garlic powder or the classic salt and pepper. Once it's all been mixed together, sprinkle the seasoning on both sides of the chicken. When the spices touches the hot chicken, it releases a lot of aromatics and smells so good which is great because the Taiwanese XXL chicken is ready now. So here's my Taiwanese XXL chicken. I even wrapped it in paper so it feels like I got it from the street food stand. And it's bigger than my face. <laughs> this chicken makes me really happy and even though it's chicken breast, it's still really juicy and not dry at all. You can experiment with different seasonings on top, but definitely give this Taiwanese XXL chicken a try and you won't regret it. I hope you liked my video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notifications and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!